The first blue light is going up in Tucson at Grant and Craycroft. Now, the city and Tucson police hope the lights will curb reckless driving in an area that's prone to crashes. Kega 9's Adam Klepp joins us live from that intersection to explain how they work. Adam? Hi, Dan, Pat. Good evening. Construction crews were here for most of the day installing the blue lights. It did cause some traffic jams. Those have since cleared up. So let's talk about these lights. They have been installed underneath the stoplights. And when the light turns red, once these blue lights are activated tomorrow, they will turn blue. And the Tucson Police Department says this is so police officers can view the intersection from a further distance and see that light from all angles, letting them know when a driver runs a red light. But I did speak to one man today who drives through this intersection multiple times a day for work. He told me, number one, not surprised they chose uh, Grant and Craycroft for this first blue light in the city of Tucson. And secondly, telling me he's not sure it'll be enough to stop reckless drivers in Tucson. This is a terrible intersection. You know, they could probably write 100 tickets a day here if they wanted to. That would pay for a blue light, probably. If, if they're going to have a law enforcement presence here, that there should be a human. Dave Morgan telling me most of all, he just wants drivers in Tucson to slow down. The Arizona Department of Transportation says tomorrow these lights will be activated around 1030. There may be a few more traffic backups as they put the finishing touches on this construction. But by tomorrow afternoon, the intersection will be clear and the blue lights will be on, letting police officers know if someone runs a red light. Reporting live at Grant and Craycroft, Adam Klepp, KGON 9. Back to you guys.